Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Ward, and my friend Lavender, and we're here today to do Lesson 3.3, The Sun's Position in the Sky. Let's go ahead and get started. So we've been working as sky scientists to investigate why the sky does not always look the same. And now we're answering a new question we got from our friend Sai. He asked us, why did daytime change to nighttime while Sai talked on the phone? And in order to investigate that question, we've been gathering data. Can I show you a little bit closer what data we've gathered so far? So one thing we did is we looked for patterns when we looked at this video of the sunset. That's one of the things we did. We're gonna make some observations today to gather some more data to help answer this question. Where is the sun in the sky at different times? I bet you remember that the last time we were together, we created this sky mural, okay? So can you guys tell me some ideas of how we could use the sky mural to keep track of where the sun is in the sky? How do you think we're gonna use this sky mural? We're listening. Yeah, that's a lot of great ideas. You guys noticed that the sun is missing from our sky mural, right? So we're gonna add the sun. In order to add the sun, we need a plan for how to tell other people where the sun is in the sky. So we're gonna use these pictures to help us point to where the sun is. Okay, so we're gonna use these pictures to point to where the sun is and then use the picture that matches. So we have very low, low, medium high, high, and very high. Will you guys practice these with me? Very low, low, medium high, high, and very high. Okay, Lavender and I are gonna go travel around the world a little bit so that we can practice our hand signals. So here we are first. What do you think I'm pointing? Very low, low, medium, high, high, or very high? A, B, C, D, E, D. What do you think? Okay, here's the next one. Oh, this one's really pretty. Look at those flowers. Point straight up. Oh. I hope you guys are pointing along with me. That was super fun. I feel like I got to go to all those places, even though I was right here in this room the whole time. Okay, this time. Lavender and I actually will go outside and look at where the sun is at different times. And I took some pictures, so let's look at that. We're gonna make some observations outside and use this page to keep track of what we observed. This is a picture of Lavender and I outside in the morning this morning. I Can you see where I'm pointing? What if I show you my, I'm gonna zoom in really close on myself. Look at where I'm pointing. Now, would you say I was pointing to very low, low, medium high, high, or very high? What do you think? Lavender has an idea. You guys want to hear Lavender's idea and see if, it, if you agree or disagree with Lavender? What do you think, Lavender? Lavender says low. Did you guys say low too? All right, so after we made our observation, we're gonna circle or draw the picture that looks the most like my arm. So if you have the packet, you can circle it, but if you don't have the packet, that's fine. You can just draw a little stick figure um, pointing uh, for low, okay? And then the next thing we wanna do is we want to draw what we observe, so that part of the horizon. 
So I was over by my chicken coop and the tall tree. And so I made sure to write down what I observed about the horizon. And I'm gonna zoom in on that picture a little bit because I also wanted to add the sun and add the horizon. So you see my red dotted line as the horizon and there's the sun. And that's what I want you guys to do on your own observations as well. So it's also really important that I record the time. So when I went out and took that picture, it was 8.30 a.m. So I just had my morning cup of coffee and Lavender went out there and took that picture. So I'm gonna record this time. Next is our sky observations and how we're gonna put those sky observations on our mural, okay? So I have a paper sun and I'm gonna use that to show where we observe the sun in the sky. All right, here I am in front of our sky mural. And so the first thing I wanna do is look for, we decided that the sun, this says morning, this is our sun in the morning. The first thing we wanna do is put our sun to match up with the little pointing arms, right? So did we say the sun was very high, high, medium high, low, or very low? What do you guys think? Yeah, I agree, it was low. So we would put it somewhere on this line for low, okay? And then the next thing we need to do is match up where we saw our sun with what part of the horizon I was looking at. Do you guys remember what part I was looking at? Was I looking at the orange house or the telephone pole, the basketball hoop? No, I was over here. I was standing right there by the chicken coop. So we're gonna put the sun right where I saw it. I was pointing over here in this direction. So the sun was low in the sky and I was standing on the chicken coop and pointing right there. All right, so I bet you guys can guess what we're gonna do next. Do we have enough data? Now let's think about the question we've been investigating. Where is the sun in the sky at different times? We know one time, don't we? What time do we know? That's right, morning. So where was the sun in the sky during the morning? We know now, right? So now we have one piece of information, but we need more, right? What can we do to help answer our question about where the sun is in the sky at different times of day? What do you think we should do next? I'm sure I heard some of you say that we should go out and make observations at different times of day. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna make another sky observation in the afternoon, right after lunch. Where do you predict the sun will be in the sky when we make another observation in the afternoon? So if the sun was here in the morning, where do you think it would be in the afternoon? What makes you think that? Can you talk to your partner about that? Go ahead. Okay, great thinking guys. Can you guys come up here? Come on up and point at the screen at where you think the sun is going to be in the afternoon. Go ahead, point. I need my glasses for this part because I need a new piece of paper to record my new afternoon observations. So this time I asked my husband to help me figure out where the sun is in the sky. So we went outside this afternoon. So here's my husband and look at where he's pointing. See the sun? 
we live in Seattle, so we were lucky to catch it coming out of the clouds even at all today. So would you say that my husband is pointing very low, low, medium high, high, or very high? What do you think? So I decided that my husband was pointing in the high position. So that's what I circled on my form. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is sketch what the horizon looks like again. Okay, and then let me go in close one more time. So once I sketched in um, the horizon, I actually put in the horizon line, that's the red dotted line, and I even colored in where I thought the sun would go. The last thing I wanna do is record the time on my notebook page. And I know that my husband went out there at 1 p.m. So I'm gonna record that last. Now we have more data we can add to our mural. So I have another paper sun where we can write where the sun was when we made our afternoon observations. All right, so in the afternoon, did we decide that my husband was pointing at very low, low, medium high? high or very high. Yeah, I thought high. I thought high. And then where was he standing in the horizon? What did we notice in the horizon of the picture? Was he by the chicken coop? Or the basketball hoop? Or the really tall trees? Where was he at? Yeah, he was by the really tall trees. So we're going to put it in high and right above those really tall trees. All right, we've got two pieces of information. I wanted to show you guys that if you're doing this at home with your paper sack sky mural, it's pretty easy to just go ahead and draw those different stick figures pointing in different directions. And then you can draw your sky observations right on your paper. Okay guys, let me tell you what I want you to do before we get together next time. I want you to make three observations, one for the morning, one for the afternoon, and one for the evening. So go with an adult to a good observation spot and observe the sun. Use those pointing at the sun, right, with your partner to decide where the sun is in the sky, and then carefully draw the horizon from where you're looking. And like I said, I want you guys to do this three times. So once in the morning, right after you get up, once in the afternoon, so anytime after lunch will work, and then once right before you go to bed, okay? See if you can make all three. If you can just make one, that's fine too. Um, but I do want you guys to go ahead and make some observations. I'm gonna make one more observation myself before I meet you guys next time because I still need to do the evening, all right? Have a great time, guys. I'll see you next time.